Welcome everybody. Welcome to Fantasy Football 101 Studios. Typhoons TV. I'm your humble host, Fantasy Typhoon, aka the mentalist, aka your favorite analyst, favorite analyst. Welcome to another episode of Two Minutes with Typhoon. Two minutes with me, the Fantasy Typhoon. Um, today's spotlight is on Christian McCaffrey. Running back, Carolina Panthers. Uh, hey, we're just here to give you true analysts. We're just here to break down the foundation. And as we rebuild, we're just here to bring you what we've seen and, you know, what we think and, you know, what we project. That's, that's all we can do. We can take the information and just bring it to you. That's what we're doing. Remember, your trades are won and lost off information. The, 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 Fantasy manager with the most accurate information always wins the trade. Period. It's the information. So information is paramount. Information is king. Now, start the two minutes. Christian McCaffrey uh, drafted at the 1.8. Well, a play off the board. So he's got to play. Let's just, that's period. He's got. To play. Period. 5'11, 202, 37.5 inch vertical, 4.48, 4. um, 40. Hey, in some instances, you didn't see the 4.48 speed on the field. So let's just go ahead and be real with that. He's fast, but it didn't look 4.48 fast. Now, you know, we, we don't get caught up on that but we're just you know just bringing that to you bringing that to your attention um new office coordinator north turner and you know as we were building the foundation we released a video earlier and, and i had to bring it to you because that's what we were we were looking at it contemplating what does because we, we we are trying to look at mccaffrey through the eyes of north turner you know we're trying to because what he sees is all that matters you can get this information, you can get that, you can get this, you can get that, and this and that. What North Turner sees is what his fantasy value will mimic. What his imagination can do. Now you look at Shula's imagination, it wasn't really creative, but at the same time, McCaffrey put some good stuff on film with, you know, just limited routes out of the backfield. The Texas in the wheels, pretty much a couple of slants here and there when they motion them out of the backfield, a couple of slants, maybe a couple of pivots here and there, but nothing special. And he took that and finished 10th in your PPR fantasy season. That's that's a good accomplishment. That's good. Absolutely. So um, you look at uh, losing uh, the guard, offensive guard Andre, uh, Andrew Norwell, Oh, he's an all-pro. But um, they also have all-pro left tackle. Um, Darrell Williams, they got Trey Turner, Ryan Khalil at the center, and Tyler Larson and Matt Khalil at uh, left tackle. I mean, right tackle. So, offensive line, I would say about 12, 11 through 17. In the offensive line woes or the offensive line uh, applause or woes mainly concerns C.J. Anderson that, and then it does a little bit more C.J. McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, I'm sorry. A little bit more than Chris McCaffrey. And we want to see McC Chris McCaffrey being utilized a little bit more in the backfield as a running, as a pure running back. Like I said, you know, as we were tearing him down, we saw wide receiver. You know, I mean, that's what he that's what he did. You know, you 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 have to, you know, look at that. It's malpractice if you don't look at it. And at least look at it, review it. And you know, after we looked at the offense, we saw the RPO elements and you know, we we saw his usage and McCaffrey's a, McCaffrey is going right where he should. You know, McCaffrey is a good buy. And he's going right where he should. His best game in 2017 PPR, 25.6. Uh, he got you 63-1 on the ground. And he gave you 73 yards via the air. 
finished 10th, and that was against the Packers. That was the outstanding usage of him in that game. And Mike, you can see Mike Shula starting to get acclimated to him and starting to get comfortable. And, okay, I got, I got McCaffrey here. You know, because at first it was like he didn't really realize that he had a special player. Now, North Turner understands special players. So, right now, he's at his, his floor is, you know, right where he is, finishing 10th. You see what I'm trying to say? 10th through 15, 17, that's where his floor is. Now, if North Turner can come in and shake a little spice on it, you know, and, and let it marinate, and then put him on the grill and serve him, man, you you, you might have some. Look, look for the red zone usage to increase. And, um, like I said, a little bit more creativity out the backfield. Now, this is a traditional pro set offense with RPO elements, and that can only help McCaffrey. Um, right now, he's the 11th back coming off the board uh, in the second round. Beautiful. Right where you want him. Um, we expect he should finish around 11-15. He could finish better than that, which is the thing. There's, there's upside there. There's a small there's a small window for up for upside utilization for Christian McCaffrey. That's why we don't mind you um, um, go ahead and drafting him in the second round or your redrafts, you know, or, or getting him, you know, in between that Dalvin Cook, you know, in that Dalvin Cook range, you know, after Hunt and Kamara come off the board, you know, well, Kamara will come off before Hunt, he should. But, you know, around that Hunt, you know, when you're sitting there looking at Hunt, Cook, McCaffrey, that's about where he where his company should be and that's about where he is in PPR leagues I don't I don't even do standard I don't even uh, project standard in my in my in my evaluations anymore um you kind of know what you expect but there is a small chance small chance that uh he, he could elevate now one thing that was a concern earlier is that um you know, injuries, you know, that 202, 511, 202, he, he wore it well. No problem there. He passed the test. Check. You see what I'm trying to say? Passed the test. So, go ahead. We, we, where Christian McCaffrey is going right now is right where Christian McCaffrey should be with just a smidgen of room for upside. Shouldn't be too much demise in him. I mean, it, it, what, his best game was, uh, was, uh, 63 on the ground and a touchdown and 73 through the air. That's 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 expectable. Um, and we'll do CG Anderson a little bit more now. I know you're looking at the target share. You know you you you're factoring in Olsen and you know Samuels and and you're factoring in uh what's that wide receiver? Uh, you, you you're factoring in out, outside circumstances, but look, Christmas Caffrey is getting the ball, and DJ Moore is getting the ball. Let me say that one more time. Christian McCaffrey is getting the ball, and DJ Moore is getting the ball. They are the future for the Carolina Panthers, and they are building around those two building blocks and, along with Cam Newton, but he's not catching the ball or, or getting the ball, but you see what I'm saying. Cam Newton, Chris McCaffrey, and DJ Moore are getting the ball. Samuels, Olsen's getting the ball too. Uh, uh, Samuels, you know, and, and, and other all the other guys, they have a role. You know, you got your bench players, you got you got your bench players and your injury fill-ins, then you got your role players, then you got the guys that's getting the ball. Chris McCaffrey's getting the ball. Draft for confidence. We go.